And so the first question, first part of this is just standard proof, which is in the text and text, text and test, text and test book for Theorem 13, page 107, at least in my version of the book. So it's Theorem 13 uh, to prove that if the triangles are similar, the sides are in the same uh, proportion. So for the next part, we want to prove that AH multiplied by QB is the same as AP multiplied by um, by HB. Just check my phone for a second. Um, I think the, the trick here is it's not to do with multiplication, it's division. So we're not really required to prove this. If we just divide, we're required to prove that AH um, a h over a p is the same uh, a h over a p is the same as h b over q b. It's the same statement if you just divide. So angle b h q is equal to angle, that's a P there, isn't it? P H C, uh, A, I mean. Those angles are the same. Uh, also, angle um, H B Q is equal to angle P A H. Um, I don't know, alternate angles, isn't that what it's called? Uh, therefore, uh, since the two angles are the same, then the third angle has to be the same as well. So those two are equal, and then that we showed HBQ is the same as PAH, and uh, BHQ is the same as uh, PHA, and then lastly, angle B. QH BQH is equal to angle HPA. So the triangle um, BHQ is similar to the triangle. Um, PHA. So, um, that would mean that the sides are in the same proportion. So, if we look at the smaller triangle, the longest side. Over the shortest side uh, that should equal the, in the other triangle as well the longest side over the shortest side PA or AP whatever so that means um, that HB times PA equals HA times BQ, uh, or if I write it in the same order, AH times QB equals AP times HB. Q, 